Hey gang, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the wonky video. Um, sitting in the rocking chair and, <clears throat> excuse me, and uh, trying to get this recorded real quick before I go to bed. So uh, here we have the uh, Imperial Japanese Navy and you discovered it's uh, 1600 on June the 3rd. Uh, you've discovered the uh, Zuo, uh, which is the unit in the, uh, in the very middle there, these guys. And then you've also uh, discovered another force, which you did not elect to fly over, mainly because I didn't want to put the Catalina that was flying over it at risk of being attacked again. It survived an attack uh, at uh, 1500 and um, was successful in avoiding death. So we called, uh, called it what it is and let, it, uh, let the Catalinas escape. Um, they moved out of range because we launched two Catalinas for you uh, a couple of turns ago and they have now taken up a position circling here in a search pattern that should uh, cover any potential approach from this direction in any case. What we don't want to do, uh, we know this is the last location of this unit, and so what I'm going to do is leave it on the board there and I'll let you guys, uh, as I post pictures, keep track of where it potentially could be. And I will obviously, once we refuel and rearm, or just refuel all of these Catalinas, they have to go back to Midway and refuel. Once we do that, uh, we'll send them back out for a full search pattern to uh, keep track of that uh, stack. But keep in mind also that you run the risk of uh, being attacked by zeros when you do that. Now, uh, 1500 was an interesting turn also because that is the turn that the next set of reinforcements is available to enter the map. Now, it doesn't have to enter the map on that turn, but it can. And it can enter anywhere from uh, way up there on the northern end of the map, anywhere along the edge, down to here. So, so in essence, what will happen is that you will find uh, that your Catalinas will have to go out again and research what you just searched. But you now know where all the forces that arrived, as far as you are aware, all the forces that were supposed to arrive on the 0400, 0500 turn, uh, based on movement rates and everything else, this is probably all of those units. I'll, I'll give you that much. Uh, that's not to say that there isn't a separate group of units or another task force somewhere up in this area. And the only reason I say that is because that is an area that you did not fully explore and you could have missed one of the task forces if there was one. I'm not giving you any more hints than that. But there is also potentially another task force coming on or already on the map and has moved one, one turn's worth of uh, distance, which is two hexes. And the weather is starting to become interesting, interesting as well here with a lot of the clouds starting to cluster together as the, the, the weather patterns kind of swirl and change. And it's created a couple of storms. There's one here and there's one here. So, uh, so interesting times. Uh, the Mavises are headed off board. So when you look at a couple of the pictures, you'll see that I had and Mavis is all the way up there, and I mistakenly moved them. I just moved them in the wrong direction. They were uh, marked on the on the chart here to uh, to be headed on return journey uh, two turns ago, and I just I just forgot to do it. I got all excited about uh, making random rolls to see which direction I was going to go to try and find. Uh, the US Navy. Now what I've done is I've kind of tracked the Navy's movement and kept that on the board. Uh, just uh, I think it's uh, kind of interesting to see where the ships have moved and what they've done. So we'll, we'll kind of do that for now and uh, if it gets messy or awkward then we'll stop. Alright, that's uh, that'll be the end of the 1600 turn. I'm going to try and get to nightfall uh, by uh, tomorrow morning. I'll probably wrap up two more turns here real quick.